Good afternoon, I'm Alexandra Cranford, meteorologist at WWL-TV, getting you a quick update on what's happening in the tropics. This is Sunday afternoon. We're just about at 4 p.m. or just a few minutes past 4 p.m on Sunday, September 17th. We have a new tropical storm out there. It formed late Saturday night. It's called Nigel. And as of 4 p.m. Sunday, it has winds of 65 miles per hour, so it is strengthening a good bit. There are even some gusts to hurricane force, and it's moving northwest way out in the Atlantic at 13 miles per hour. Notice that it is forecast to stay just off to the east of Bermuda, may very soon become a hurricane, and then might strengthen rather quickly to become a major hurricane maybe even sometime early this week, late Monday or Tuesday could be a cat three. And then it continues off eventually curving around with the upper pattern over the ocean. Looks like this one is yet another storm this season that will stay out over the open Atlantic. Again, thinking is that it will stay well to the east of Bermuda at this point with the pattern out in the Atlantic. So another name on the list, another hurricane, and even probably it looks like another major hurricane to add to the list for 2023. But this one, thankfully, not looking like it's going to affect land. Looking at what else is out there, we have a couple of other spots. In particular, of course, we have post-tropical Lee over the Canada uh, Maritimes, but actually moving out to the east at this point and will soon be back uh, over the Atlantic waters by tonight, by Sunday night. We also have post-tropical Margo. This one stayed out at sea. It became a hurricane and then dropped back to a tropical storm. Now it's just a post-tropical system. So the only active system is what we just covered, Nigel. There is one more spot. It is not even out over the ocean yet. It is still a wave that is over Africa, but just putting our satellite imagery in here, you can see it is an area of some showers and storms that may be moving out within the next couple days. So this week in this general area, it will have a medium chance of development. I wanted to show you really quickly though, this one doesn't appear like it's going to eventually threaten anywhere near the Gulf Coast and maybe not even US. This is our model starting a couple days from now, September 21st, that our models are picking up on some low pressure centers here, um, not far from the African coast. We are expecting it to move out, but then may take that very familiar curve off to the north, keeping it potentially away from the Caribbean islands and maybe curving it somewhere out over the ocean, very similar to several systems that we've seen out so far this year. So this is by September 27th. Remember, this is just a very early look at what might be happening, you know, many days from now, but just wanted to give you the little uh, early look at what might eventually occur. These are our 2023 hurricane season names. Of course, we've made it through Nigel at this point. Ophelia would be the next name to be used. And then Philippe, Rena and Sean and then Tammy, Vince and Whitney and we're out of the official names for this season. We'd have to go to an additional list checking hurricane season so far. We have had 14 name storms. Keep in mind the average for an entire Atlantic season for name storms is 14. So we've already reached that number. Hurricanes, we've had five of those and out of those we've had three major so far, but we'll see if Nigel nudges up this hurricane number and then eventually the major hurricane number within maybe this next week. The average at this point in the year would be nine named storms, four hurricanes and one major hurricane. That's up to this point toward the end of September in the season. And then last year at this point we had had six named storms two hurricanes, zero major hurricanes. And another measure that we use is ACE, accumulated cyclone energy, shortened to ACE. And this is something we talk about often when we talk about the number of storms, because we know the number of storms is a little higher now that we have better detection tools. And the National Hurricane Center has been very open about this. You know, we have better uh, satellite tools. We have better uh, scanning tools for what's happening farther out in the ocean than we did decades ago. So that's why the number of named storms has gone up. But something else is the accumulated cyclone energy. That takes into account not just number of storms, but also how strong they get and how long they last. So we're running about 40% above average for this point in the season. So just a little above average as far as the energy goes, as far as the numbers of storms go, we are well above average. The average at this point again would be nine. So we will continue to keep you updated, but as of this point on Sunday afternoon, September 17th, just watching what's happening out there, tracking Nigel, tracking that next wave throughout this week, but no threats at this point for our part of the Gulf Coast or even for the U.S. Um, at this point in the season. So we'll keep you updated. Take care. We'll have more for you, of course, coming up on WWL-TV and WWL-TV.com.